Wait, what? The best way to know if somebody is credible, ask somebody else about them. If somebody else speaks highly of an individual, and then you go to somebody else and they speak highly of an individual, then you go to somebody else and they speak high, they say, oh, I recommend this person's service. Oh, I recommend this chiropractor for you, John, because I went to school with her. I recommend this service provider for you because I've seen the work that they do. I went to school, I saw their study habits. It's like, whoa, okay, so you can speak to this person's credibility outside of their business. Because so often, so often we just hear what people are saying about an individual just solely based on the business or the service that we're seeking out, right? However, when it comes to business, you wanna make sure that somebody is tight holistically, right? Well-rounded. And if they're tight, well-rounded, now the beautiful thing about that is if you're an integral person, right? If you're an integral person in your marriage, if you're an integral person when somebody gives you too much change at the store, then when it comes to you coaching somebody, when it comes to you sending a contract to a company to speak and then they might cut you a check for too much or they might have they, they had some sort of mishap on the other side they don't have to worry about you trying to take money from them because you're holistically tight so therefore you're going to do what you need to do to make certain to make certain to make certain that they get taken care of that's what people who have high integrity, that's what they do. That's what they do, all right? So we wanna definitely keep that in mind. We wanna keep that in mind when we start doing business and we start looking for the right coach, we wanna make sure, we wanna make sure that we can trust them based on the credibility or based on the word of other people, okay? So now I wanna talk about uh, this final point, but before I get there, I wanna make sure, just throw this out there. Uh, we have a training coming up, and this is for my speakers, my coaches and consultants who are in the spot to where they're already generating revenue, they're already generating leads, and they're already doing engagements. However, they're saying, I want to 2x that. I want more exposure. I want more engagements. I want more monies. This training is for you. This isn't for my starting out podcasters or people who have who already have a podcast or you know people who are just on, more so on the indie track this is for my speakers my coaches and my consultants who are already generating revenue and already generating leads but they want to exit you can hit the link at www.getpaidwithpodcasting.com all right all right so now the the final point i have for you is this okay final point right here last call for alcohol so look You got to make sure that they have a coach, baby. You got to make sure that they have a coach. And this is why I say this. This is why I say it. Because at the end of the day, if you want to have somebody pay you five figures, right? You want somebody to pay you six figures. You might want somebody to pay you three figures, right? Just to get started, get some money in the game, whatever it might be. You cannot integrally ask for somebody to give you something that you have not paid one more time just from a people in the back like my people in the in, in the back back if you have not paid a certain amount of money for coaching for you to charge somebody an amount that you haven't paid yet that's problematic you will never see me charge somebody an amount that I haven't paid, right? And I'm not coaching people without a coach. My coach is Words Taylor. Shout out to Words. Uh, my coach, also, I'm a part of the Morning Meetup community, so shout out to David Shands uh, and that team, the Morning Meetup family. So I want you all and I want everybody to understand and take this with you. At the end of the day, if we're not being if we're not practicing integrity within our business 
then how can you expect somebody of high integrity to do business with you as well? You're going to attract what you are. So if you're an integral businessman or woman, you're going to attract that into your business. If you're somebody who pays a high fee for coaching goods and services, then you're going to attract that type of client. If you're somebody who's coachable, then you're going to attract a coachable client. But if you're not those things, then you're going to attract that same type of individual. Okay, so one more time, just want to make sure everybody got it. We got the masterclass coming up where I'm going to show you how you can leverage the vehicle of podcasting so that you can live the life that you desire. I'm talking about being able to uh, 2x what you're doing already as a speaker, as a coach, as a consultant. All right. And so you can go to getpaywithpodcasting.com and there you can sign up for the training. Uh, but quick recap, I always like to do the recap. Number one is, you know you have the right coach for you if, boom, if they've actually done what they're coaching you on, right? This is how you know you have the right coach for you. Number two, you know you have the right coach for you if they have proof of helping other people. I've been able to help 45 plus people start their own podcast in the past couple of years, right? Been able to take the time, have the calls with them, have my community calls, help them grow, help them establish that credibility, help them with the technical aspect, help them around the ideas of monetization and how it can benefit their business, right? This is what I've done. That's why this is what I teach, okay? And then the last point, do they have a coach? Do they have a coach? If they don't have a coach, do you really want to be coached by them?